around his house. Yeah. <laughs> Here, tag me on Instagram, Woo. Facebook, all that good stuff. Tag me. Yeah. You built this yeah. wall. I built that wall, <laughs> and he paid for it. Are you? <laughs> he paid for it, Daniel. There you go. Thank you. Well, good David. Job, good job. Absolutely. Sunday in sunny Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Uh, Jordan is down by the pool uh, reading a little bit and I'm gonna set out today and see what adventures I can find. Uh, Charlene's not with Jordan and I as we're on this adventure in Fort Lauderdale, but one of the things she loves to do is geocaching. And I took a peek and found out there's a few geocaches near here. So I'm gonna head out today and see if I can find a couple of geocaches. Thought I'd bring you along for the adventure. As well, there's some kind of a concert or a festival going on just down the way from the hotel, so I thought I'd check that out, see what it's about. And I'm also hungry, I gotta grab some lunch. So yeah, let's go and we'll see what we can uh, we can find today. Oh, yeah, yeah. Hey. Hey. I think is ground zero for the geocache and I think it's right here where this guy is he just got up from this chair on here and so I think based on the hints and stuff it's right there he's getting on a bus that's just pulling up which is perfect timing so I'm gonna go see if I can find the cash oh, yeah, yeah. of a find but it counts. Uh, I found out I'm without a pen so I'll just have to uh, come back later and actually sign it. Uh, part of geocache etiquette is you got to sign every log. Uh, it doesn't count if you don't sign it. So I'm gonna bring a pen back and sign a little bit later so it counts and we'll mark that off as a geocache found. Uh, let me go see if I can find another one. <laughs> afternoon left the hotel went and found that first geocache zipped along the beach saw some of the sites there it was a walk for AIDS awareness that was going on and I think they actually if I overheard correctly raised just over a million dollars at the event absolutely fantastic and um, that guy uh, zipped along got lunch and then came back here to the marina where I found a second cache it was a little bit tricky to find but I asked the lady in the marina office who the notes on the geocache said she would help and she did she pointed it out in a general area and after that I found it which was great because you don't want to leave a a do not find which is the term you put on a geocache when you just can't find it because who knows when I'll be back here in Florida to look for it again so it was great to put a little smiley face on the geocache on this one so there's a couple more things going on that I should mention to you uh, in the last vlog I did and by the way if you didn't see it check it out right here uh, I mentioned that I had a camera battery die on my Canon camera which is the main camera that I use for a lot of the b-roll footage that I do and so I was trying to figure out how am I gonna get this fixed because I left the charger back in Parksville by accident and the spare battery if you can believe it so all I had was this one battery ran that dry pretty quick as you can imagine here with all the stuff to take video of 
And so I found a place that I could go and buy a new one, but I didn't really want to put out 40 bucks for a new charger because I have one at home. So I found another place that would actually charge the battery for me, and that was great. Took it in, they charged it for me, used it today, which was awesome, but it's dead again. So I think tomorrow I'm going to have to go back and have them charge it again. I don't know. I hope that's going to happen. The other thing going on is that the tripod that I usually use for my iPhone, this one right here, uh, it broke, it busted, the metal on it just snapped right off and so that's no good. Uh, it's the one I use for a lot of my time lapses. Um, I affixed it to the front of somebody's bike today and got this footage right up here. I didn't end up using it in today's vlog because it was too shaky, but it kind of snaps onto the front there. It kind of it kind of looped around. And this is what I do to get a lot of shots for commentary and things like this where I want the camera to be stationary, but all I got is like a tree branch. So I lock it onto the tree branch or whatever. Yeah, so it busted. So now I'm without that. And so I feel like the chips are down and I am getting just brutalized here in Florida with my camera equipment. But I guess on the flip side, it means I'm making good use of it. So now I've got to try to maybe find some duct tape for the meantime to fix this up before I get a new one. I don't know. So these are some of the adventures and some of the, the tough life down here in Florida that's going on. Uh, I'm going to head back to the hotel. Jordan was just texting me wanting to know what's for supper so we'll have to figure that out in a few minutes and then I think we're just gonna hang out back in the hotel room watching movies tonight but uh, so I guess that's the end of the vlog have a good night Maybe not.